everybody. My name is Sandra. Welcome back to my channel. Today I want to go through the most recent cloth and paper subscription box with y'all. Um, I've actually received this a few days ago and I just didn't have time to film the unboxing. I know there are a few other um, videos up online. So um, anyway, let's get started because I'm excited to see what's in here. Okay, so I'm just going to pull everything out of the box before we actually open it. So the first thing I'm going to try for is this little pack here. So these are usually like the pen test card. Um, these are the color palettes this month, which are really pretty. Again, remind me of very fall, um, you know, November, October colors. The pen test sheet. Um, I love this. It says framework, a personal framework is a set of guidelines for how we spend our time and energy in accordance with our values and life commitments. Very similar to goals, I think. But I mean, it could be different for everybody. Yeah, this is what's inside the box. And then this is like the monthly little card, index card that you get. All right, uh, next I want to go through the pens, okay? So I'm going to take that, well, I usually say I'll take the pen test sheet, but I end up writing on the box that they come in, so let's just do that instead. Okay, so the first one, ooh, I, I really like the look of this. I mean, I know all these pens are just like plastic and they're cheap, but I really like the look of that. You can see the black ink right through the clear tube. I love that. I feel like I'm collecting so many of these pens and I haven't used a single one. I really need to start using them. <laughs> this one was from China. Love that. Again, needle tip. That's like my favorite type of pen. They write like all of the other cloth and paper pen pens that have been in the previous sub boxes so far. Pretty sure it's a 0.5. I will double check. Yep, 0.5. Um, it does say it's a snow white. <laughs> okay, the next one. I also like these two. I like these like clippy sides, like the metal ones that kind of showcase. And then this one also kind of like, I don't know, it gets bigger at the end. I like that because it's a nice little grip area. Um, that first one didn't actually have anything on the end of it, but these ones do. Let's see. Okay, so this one says it's an extra. Um, again, a 0.5. This one writes really nice, actually. It, it doesn't, it's not like a needle tip, but it writes really, really good. Very comfortable to write with that one, actually. Oh, this is a pretty blue one. This is also a 0.5. That's kind of like a hybrid. It's not really a needle tip, but it kind of is. <laughs> that I like that a lot. That's kind of good. Yeah, that one right, it's really sharp. I like that. Not scratchy, just like really nice. Again, a 0.5. That one's kind of cool, too. Okay, let's try this pink situation out. So this one is a 0.5. Study hard and have fun. That's all it says. Let's see. This totally reminds me of a study pen, too. I don't know why. Ooh, okay, it's a red pen. I thought it would be pink. Is that pink? I can't really tell. Let's see. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say it's red. That's interesting. But I mean, it's a red gel pen. So I can use that for budgeting. 
Okay, and then the last one, this one's kind of cool too. I like that. So this part's kind of rubberized, and again, it helps you to grip the pen. M and G chick style. Again, oh, this is a 0.3, you guys. And it's a twist, is it? No. Why can I not push it down? Okay, you have to push down the little clip, like the pen clip part. But again, it's a needle tip. I'm not as fond of the 0.38, but that is nice and fine. If you were looking for a really fine tip, that would be nice. I kind of wish for me it had been a 0.5 because I think this is like one of my favorites. I love the way like you can hold it. It feels so comfortable. But I am not disappointed with this month's pen lineup, actually. Okay, let's move on. Okay, so the other thing that I noticed in here were these dot stickers. So do you guys remember how last month they came with the like the reinforcement style stickers? These are the actual dot stickers. So my only beef with these, I'm just going to open up. I'm going to open them all up because I like to take out the packaging anyway. But I want to show you what I mean. So like in a lot of our planners, like maybe you guys use different dots for different like things. But I know for myself, I only use dots on usually like my monthly calendar or like if I have like a weekly schedule or something, but I prefer the small dots, okay? I don't know what I would do with these big ones unless I block out an entire day on like the monthly calendar because that's just weird. I don't know what I would do with that. Um, so what you get is one sheet of different size. So this is the... They're all in Sedona, which is that kind of like same color palette as last week or last week, last month. <laughs> you get that kind of like orangey red color going on. Um, they don't tell you what size they are, but these are the small ones that you would normally get. These are medium size and these are like a large, okay? And then you get two sheets that are different sizes. So, I mean, I guess it's not terrible, but I just don't know what I would use the medium and the large ones for but I like the color scheme because I'm probably you guys I'm probably going to use these in my December setup somehow I'm just gonna have to figure it out because I am switching my things up for Christmas I'm so excited yeah, let's we won't examine these as closely but I'm just going to take a look at the the green ones Okay. I mean, you do get a lot of stickers. That's like a definite bonus because how often are you like, oh, like look at all the stickers. Usually you only get like one sheet. So I mean, that's something. There's two sheets there. Okay. So that is a lot of circle stickers. <laughs> but yeah, I might use those in next month's setup. So stay tuned for that. Okay, so now I want to open this notebook situation because I always like leaving my dashboards for last. And I always forget to say this, but if you guys don't know, I get the half letter size for my planner because I have a Franklin Covey Classic and I have my own punch. So I simply punch my inserts with my own hole punch, okay? To fit my Franklin Covey. Um, but this is an executive notebook. So at first I was kind of bummed about this because like I do use my planner a lot. Obviously I use it like every single day, a hundred times a day. And I kind of would like to have paper for my planner instead of like in a regular notebook. But then I thought, you know what, I can use this for my notes for my, um, like when I make my YouTube videos and stuff, because I actually like jot down, um, like basically just like, if I'm going through like a say a makeup video or something, I'll jot down um, all the products I've used and then I can go back and link them later. So yeah, so I mean, it's not terrible. I actually kind of like the paper in here. It's not, I don't feel like it's, it's not the same paper as you get on the inserts. I feel like it's kind of close to like, 
it's a mix between some kind of like stone paper. It probably isn't, but it feels like it. Like it feels like the paper that wouldn't like make your pen smear. I guess we could test it out. I don't really care about writing on it. It's fine. Let's see. It does still smear a little bit. Okay, it does smear a tiny bit. You probably still have to wait for the ink to dry, but that's not a complete fair test because this pen is like a brand new pen. I swear by my Pentel Energel, it like dries so quick. But yeah, like look how much paper you get. That's a lot of paper. And I do kind of like, I like that. Um, You could use it as a journal. That would be a good idea. So anyway, I'm really excited about that. I'll be able to use this. So, so this little sticky notepad came separate. We'll take this out. So all it says is step by step in the shade Aspen. So you get your task, you can put your date, and then you can put all the steps. So I don't mind that because I do have a few goals this month and probably in December that, um, you know, I can stick these in my planner. So that's kind of cute. Good goal sticky notes. And finally, the last package. Okay, so of course you get your little December card. This is the October box. I don't think I really mentioned that, but it will be on the title of the video. And these are the little journaling cards. So you've got your December card. Meraki, meaning to do something with soul, creativity, or love to put something of yourself into your work. Grand Dewar, I like that. And then this one says, not everything has meaning, but you can find meaning in most things. Those are cute. Some more sticky notes, a daily memo. These just say matte, but they don't tell you the shade. So this is an eclipse. Um, this is the cloth and paper brand that wanted, I think they wanted to create like a, some kind of a binder clip for organization. So it says Eclipse is a transformative yet ultra modern edition with its simplistic crescent design and polished smooth leather. The Eclipse magnetic clip will forever elevate your organization. Clip stickers in a planner or utilize it as a bookmark with such practice usefulness. You will love the Eclipse to the moon and back. So, I mean, that's kind of cute. I will use that. It is leather covered, so that's nice. And then you can just put it on your in your planner, or you can use it as a bookmark, like they suggest. Okay, let's open this. These are the things we've all come to expect. This is the 2022 Vertical Weekly Sunday Start. I have been using these in my business planner, but I haven't really gotten as much use out of them. Oops, much use out of them as you know as I would like, as I think would be expected for a planner. Um, so we'll see what cloth and paper has coming out for next year. I'm not really a Sunday start girl anymore. I used to be, but not anymore. Um, but it just gives you, I'll show you guys quick here. They have an area for notes, for goals, intentions, bills. you got your monthly calendar, important dates, and then it goes into your weekly vertical. Okay. All right. So... Now this, this is the alignment pack. I actually didn't think, I actually didn't think that they would include this because they included the executive notebook, but I forgot about this. So it says the alignment you attracted in the physical is a match to your inner reality. Okay, six steps to identify and align your personal core values. So this is something that I would probably use in conjunction for the beginning of the year to kind of like maybe with my Franklin Covey gives you different dates. This is kind of cool. Okay, so let's just see. You've got different quotes. I won't read all the quotes, but you get different quotes on the top of every page. And then it gives you different... Um, tasks to do so there's different steps let me see if i can read the steps this is nice i would i'm going to put, put this in my um january setup when i start 
So it's just to try to discover your true value. So it kind of goes in with the Franklin Covey system that I already use. So step one, write down all the significant moments that taught you something important in your life. Step two, ground and knit or group and narrow them. Step three, place an asterisk next to the ones that represent who you really are and those that support who you want to grow into. Step four, select 10 or fewer. These are the core values you are and will be demonstrating daily. Okay. So you can basically do these. On, you don't have to do them all on the same date. That's kind of nice. Okay. Um, then you get a couple of empty pages. Oh, I guess maybe that's it. Let's see. No, step five. Every 30 days, spend 15 minutes evaluating your core values. Ask the following questions. What values come naturally to me? Which values feel misaligned or inauthentic? Which values are difficult and hard? Why? Are there any values I need to remove and or adjust? Step six. Every 12 months, perform a values report. Ask yourself these and only any other questions you feel are pertinent to your core values. What values drive my behaviors? What values drive positive relationships? What values drive well-being and good health? Take care of my health and well-being. Be responsible with my finances. Very nice. Okay. Um, and then you have a whole bunch of, um, it says emotional intelligence. It's kind of cool. A whole bunch of like notes almost. I really like that. So that'll be something that will go in my set up for next year. So I will have that for you guys. Um, I'm going to be working on that probably this month because next month is going to be a little harried for me. Okay. Last but not least is this dashboard. And I think I'm in love. Let's see. I love this dashboard. I fell in love with it. It's amazing. I will use this right away. I don't know where, but I'm going to put it in my planner. So that's it for this haul, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this sub box open unboxing and kind of a glimpse into what cloth and paper is all about. So if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you are new here, please subscribe, click on that bell button, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, friends.